the Fish in Canada show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks. Nothing works harder than a Ram. Food Saver, the number one vacuum sealing system. Stearns, the light jacket experts. Mercury Outboards, number one on the water. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine. Today we're back in the legendary French River, exploring one of Canada's iconic muskie and walleye havens. Now although it was originally used as a transportation corridor by the Algonquins and Ojibwes, the French became a vital link in the Voyager's Highway, which ultimately stretched some 3,000 miles connecting the Hudson Bay to the Pacific and Western Arctic. And it is now a popular location for recreational canoeists, kayakers, and of course, the reason we're here, fishing. My guest on this episode, or rather should I say my host, as we're playing in his sandbox today, is longtime friend Steve Nedzwicki, proprietor of Chaudier Lodge, one of my all-time favorite little slices of heaven. I've known Steve for some time, but never had the pleasure of sharing the bow of a fishing boat with him before. Now they say you never really get to know someone until you fish with them. I'm looking forward to this experience. You've always been there for me, baby I must confess. You'll always be number one, no matter how high I get. Oh, this wow. cat can fish half as good yes. as he can meow. Get out there. Hang on, friends. Put it all out. We're headed for the mother load. Oh, buddy, she's a dandy. Good one? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> bring it in. Just bring come, him in. I'm going to try and get us. Come out of the water, too. I'm going to try and get a straggler. Where is he? Oh, oh nice, nice small one. <laughs> he doesn't have any buddies with him. I can't believe it. You've got to be kidding me. Let's net him up. Up, 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 that's the way she goes. I love it. There you go. I'll let you do that okay. while I go get his brothers and sisters. That's How's that? a fantastic idea, Ange. Oh, and look at that. Yeah, that's that's a decent fish right there. Nice. Just a beauty, eh? Oh, I you want to give them a kiss or should I? I love those. No, oh, don't just, do that. They're going to start oh, charging yeah. people for that. I know, hey. Right back home where you belong, brother. Oh, I just broke one off, buddy. No way. <laughs> <laughs> he's got, he's there. There it is, there it is, look. look. Oh, yeah, look. yeah, 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 That's yeah. my crankbait, man. Let's get that crankbait back, <laughs> Ange. That's the... Oh, man. That was a bit... There oh. he is, there <laughs> See, now, if we can just convince him to bite, we'll bite take it again. back. Bite we'll again. take it back. That's hilarious. Boy, they are just stacked. They're right right one here. little spot, eh? Unbelievable. It's funny, though, eh? For, for years... When the French was was really on fire, it was all predominantly walleye fishermen, wasn't it? Oh, for sure. Even yeah. today, even today, we still have walleye is the is the predominant uh, fish of choice for a yeah. lot of our southern friends, you know. But we're on top of world class musky water, world class oh. bass. Yeah, you know. Oh, there's one. Just followed up. There he goes. Yeah, he's right under the boat. So he came out after you. Oh, there he is again on oh, a figure yeah. eight, small, buddy. Small one, though. No. Yeah, that's okay. I've that's never cool. Caught, I've never caught a smallie on a figure eight. <laughs> no. He may know cool. a thing or two about running a successful it? fishing yeah. lodge, but I think he's had one too many sips from the French River Kool-Aid. Figure eight for bass? <laughs> Give your head a hey. shake, Stevie boy. Hey, you ever Go. caught a smallie on a figure eight? Never. I wouldn't have even tried it. <laughs> you know, I have to tell you something. Without it sounding like a sales pitch, one of the things that both Pete and I get asked for regularly as hosts of Canada's Most Watched Fishing Show is where would you recommend that I go for my next fishing adventure? Well, let me tell you, it's not an easy answer. For us, steering you in the right direction is a huge responsibility and one that we take very seriously. The biggest problem is finding places that are consistent. Consistent in quality of fishing. Look at that. Consistent in excellent service and consistent in overall experience. Well, this is one of a handful of operations that we're always happy to recommend. So as a lodge owner, what do you think is the most important criteria that you have to hit with your guests? It's overall experience, for sure. You've got different people with different kinds of experiences they're looking for, and the most important thing for myself and for my staff is to stay tuned with those people to correctly diagnose what they're looking for and make sure they get it. 
One of the things that most lodge owners forget is that the, the customers are best uh, verification as to whether they're doing well or not. To get to Show Deer Lodge, we first took Highway 400 north from Toronto. We then took Highway 69 north to Highway 64. We headed east on 64 to Dokies Road and then proceeded to Dokies Marina. From there, it's a short boat ride to the lodge. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, nice yes, big buddy. <laughs> There's another one behind him. Yeah, look, right look, there. Look, 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 look at that. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, oh. Hey, God. Hey, God. We'll get them both. We'll get them both at the same time. We're going to do a double header nice netting with job. The net. Double header netting job. I think mine's bigger than yours. Oh, it's not <laughs> even close. It's not even close. All right. We'll do yours first if he's ready. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Boy. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm the way to do it, brother. How hey. good is that? Oh, yeah. Hey, you saw both those fish. Hey, isn't that, oh, isn't yeah. that cool? That sight fishing is something else. Oh, you know, what's really amazing about the French River, and I mentioned it before, it's noted for walleye. I mean, I think more people, probably 95% of people come up here for, Absolutely. for a walleye, but <laughs> look at that. It's so, hey. so. I, look at this. I think you got me, buddy. I got you by that. <laughs> yeah, it's much. okay. I'll take it. Yeah, me too. You know? And Good the stuff. nice thing about it is you can come to a spot like this and there is nobody in sight. Yeah, we saw one and, boat this morning yeah. heading by. Yeah. And miles. Hey? And there, now you have to believe us when we tell you, we have seen probably about 25, maybe 30 fish this size so far this morning. Oh, easy. <laughs> Good stuff. There we go. <laughs> That it couldn't have gone better. And you know, so many times you'll hear us here on the show and you talk to friends that have seen it where you've got one fish on and two or three followers and you get so excited sometimes that you don't think of throwing something else in behind. We talked it, about it. Yeah. And, and you know, it's not about going for the net. It's about going for your other rod. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yes, sir. Right the end. That's the that's, fish we saw. That's the yeah. fish we saw. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's not quite as big as we would like to have been. But oh, he's, he's fat. He is a chubby little guy. He's a he? chubby wee feller. <clears throat> <laughs> that's the way, buddy. Yeah, not quite what we would have liked, but... Boy, he is fat, isn't he's he? He's fat. Yeah, he's a fat one. Yeah. The least sought after sports fish on the French is our main target today, the largemouth bass. This cousin of the smallmouth is traditionally associated with more southerly climes and is often overlooked in the more northerly reaches. But make no mistake about it, old Bucketmouth is alive and doing well on the French. For the next several hours, we scoured the French River in search of areas that should hold largemouth bass, all to no avail. Then, Steve remembers a spot that an old pike hunter had once told him about years ago a long, swampy back bay that used to be full of big gators. It sounded like it could be just a ticket. No sooner do we get there, and bingo, we hit pay dirt. Oh, yep, there it is, right there. Yes, oh, that's what I'm talking about, buddy. That's the one right there. <laughs> yes, sir. Is he net worthy? You want me I to net think him? he probably is. All right. Yeah. All right, brother. That's... Keep him down. Okay, just give them back to me. Oop. All right, all right, do it this way. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> hey, good. Hey, you did it. That's the that's the one, brother. There you go. Hey, buddy, that's a beauty. He's a, and look at the toad. Look at that. He's a chunk. Hey, yeah. Hey, and just sucked it under. Many more. Yes, let's many do it. more. Oh, there you go. That's all we needed was a home. sign. Yeah. Well, our fortune seemed to have suddenly turned for the better. <laughs> But finding fish is just half the battle. Now comes the hard part, getting him in the boat. There yeah! He is. is he there? No, he broke off. He broke off. <laughs> Please be on. Oh, I don't think so, buddy. He took the legs right, right off, off my frog. It. That's the way, buddy. No, he's off. You run. Did you see that? Oh, I saw it. We gotta figure this out. Something amok here. I finally got hooks and nobody broke off. Oh no. Oh my god, that was a big fish. 
No, you think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. Fishing is a great leveler of man, but right now, I could use a shim or two. This is getting very frustrating. That was a big fish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! That's 13. Ah! <laughs> I've never seen this many fish short strike in my life. This had it happened earlier in my career, I'd probably quit fishing. There he is there right he there. Is, there he is, there he is. Drop it down, drop it down. I can openly say this is one of the most frustrating moments in my entire fishing career. Neither one of us can seem to figure out what it's going to take to get these fish properly pinned. It's not like they're not willing to bite. Oh yeah. Yes, finally. That's the you old slug. You want me to go, buddy? <sighs> yeah. Okay, just, just keep tension on him. Don't, don't pull him through that. He's well hung, brother. He's well hung. Nice, uh, beautiful color, but... <laughs> if that, I mean, that's not the guy who's been no. busting around in here, but... Uh... <laughs> he got that one. Bring it bit, buddy. <laughs> Good stuff, man. There we go. It's the nice thing about the braid. Now you saw that fish turn on you. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's I wasn't saying watch my line because I was worried about it tangling. Yeah. I was saying watch it because I knew it was gonna go. <laughs> nice. Well at least we're seeing them now anyway. Yeah. All right, we're upsizing. Yes, sir. There we go. Holy mackerel. <laughs> That's the way, buddy. He's still on. He's still on. Yeah, there he is, power. Oh, he's not that. Well, he's, yeah, he's big enough. He's, you know what it is, eh? He swung he's, himself sideways. Yeah. <laughs> there. Hey, <laughs> nice. that's the way to do it. <laughs> right in the fin. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's but another still, nice fish. Absolutely, buddy. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Not at all. That. Little French River in the sunlight. Sunset. Wow. Yeah, with that sun on him. Isn't that beautiful, eh? That's Woo. what I like to see. That's what I love about fishing. At any given time, in the blink of an eye, things can change. A storm gives way to sunshine, or in our case, we finally start connecting with some of these incredibly elusive French River bucket mouths. Keep her up, bud, keep her up, bud. That's the way. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's come on, the, come yeah, on, man. come baby. on, baby. Oh, oh there yeah, she yeah, is, yeah, there yeah, she yeah. is, keep it. There we go. Oh, yeah. No, it's not the one, but no. we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> looked a lot. It looked bigger. It looked a lot bigger. It looked bigger, bigger up there. Oh. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, I thought for sure it was the one. Well, it looked. It, it looked, looked. Didn't it look man, big? Did it ever look big? Yeah. Right. Set. Yo, nice fish. Yep. Oh, he's pulling nice good fish. too. It's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, he doesn't even know he's hung. Hang on, brother. Hang on, brother. Lift him up. Go ahead. Lift him up. He wasn't going anywhere. He That's... didn't even know he was hung. Hey? Nice fish. That's what I like to see. We're stepping up, man. Yeah. We're stepping up. That's what it's all about, stepping up to the plate. That's We're stepping up. the that. Look at that. Hey? A beauty. Look at the belly on them, too. They've they're all, they're all, fat, they're all eh? fat fish. That Healthy is looking fish. Really nice. Wow. Beautiful. Hey? What a honey hole. <laughs> It's, what a honey hole. And literally, it's been 100 yards, if that? We have not moved 100 yards. And we've made contact with well over 20 of these. I know. Well over 20 of these. Incredible, <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, well, I think largemouth is off the bucket list. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least we brought some sort of sanity to an otherwise crazy situation. Ah! <laughs> But this just reinforces my belief that there are areas on the French River that house largemouth by the truckload. Another reason to come back. Hallelujah, brother. When the moon hits your eye like a, a big pizza pie, pie, that's amore. Oh, teeny martini, eh? <laughs> he was the best. Yeah. Today's hot spot is tucked away at the back of a long, shallow finger at the top of the French River called Wigwam Bay. The waypoint on your screen will take you right there. However, I'd highly recommend using the services of a Show Deer Lodge guide. This bay is really off the beaten path. 
be very careful going in as its extremely shallow weed choked entrance is like a minefield of wood and rock. But once you get past that, it turns into a largemouth bass angler's paradise. Arm yourself with a boatload of topwater weedless baits and a trunk full of patience. You'll need it. For more waypoints like this one, go to fishingcanada.com. The Fishing Canada Show, brought to you in part by Sale, the Outdoors Superstore. Coleman, the Outdoor Company. Muscal, proudly Canadian since 1951. Cooper Tires, life's a road trip. Come on, let's go. And Princecraft Boats, dominate the waters.